Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. No, 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 no. I'm trying to help you. Ah, uh, you're going to get it all over your pants. Oh, did you see that? That was pathetic. He's just pissing up against the wall in the middle of the day. He's begging to get caught. The kids today don't know how to piss in public. You're going to find a plethora of tools for public urination in the garbage. And this just looks like an everyday coffee cup to some, but this is actually a very vital tool for peeing in public. Before we even get started, almost every public urination trick involves a cell phone. It's an old magic thing that I learned from magic guys. You want to distract the audience. So I always, when I'm pissing in public, am on my cell phone freaking out at someone. So they, when, if people see me, they go, wow, that guy's really mad. So I open it up enough for my large penis, and I look around, make sure it's safe. This is the snakiest part. Pull it out and put it in the cup, okay? Yes, I know that. Yeah, no, it's not. You think it'll be ready by Friday? You're out of your mind. You're just using your, your uh, urethra, or whatever that muscle is, the perenum. Uh, you just sort of pump it, pump it, and pump it. Here comes a crucial move. And it is one, two, three in the pants. Now, my dick is actually out right now because it didn't snake in. Sometimes if you retract enough, it goes in the fly. So you keep talking, look here, they pass. Now, snake that in. No one saw that, right? I've got a full load there. And I think it's tacky to leave it upright. So I just sort of plop her down. And I'll go and get another cup later. So you get it like that, you put it in there, and now you're on the phone, and you're just like, wait a minute, you have got to be kidding me. No, I'm not going to be there on Friday. No, dude. Oh, I was there, I was waiting for you guys. I'm doing the pushes. Did you get out every last drop? No! No, no, he's not going to be there because he has no idea what he's doing. Okay, and now watch this motion. You watching? Go down, get it. One, two, and zoop. Okay, well, I don't want that. I had this car before. The problem here is these wheels get misaligned, right? Because all here this is where the snow and junk will gather. You'll get slush here, okay? The slush will build up and it'll affect the suspension. I'm letting some drips go down, just to make sure I'm definitely done. And that is why this whole, this whole part would have to be replaced. I actually had uh, two instances of someone coming up who owned the car while I was doing this stupid diatribe about the wheel. The first time it happened was in Coney Island and I just pinched my foreskin and ran away and it exploded like a balloon and it was pathetic. The second time I had the smarts and liquid courage to say to the guy, oh this is your car? As I'm urinating, as I'm lying there, I go, oh this is your car? I have a similar car. You have to watch with these. You get ice and slush uh, that wraps around the wheel hub and it can really affect your transmission. I was just making stuff up. I don't know anything about cars. And I finished my pee, got up, did the schloop where it goes back in, and he was there with his car keys going, thanks buddy, thanks for helping out. I go, no problem pal. We were friends and I urinated in public and didn't get caught. Yeah, I know your car's great. It's a really reliable vehicle. Oh, yeah, sorry, I've had two. Got, oh, you have? Yeah. It lasts forever. Oh, good. Yeah, we just got it last month. It's awesome. It's great. Okay, bye. Okay. I'm going to show you some next level shit that I'm not even sure I can pull off. See this leaf here? That leaf is an important leaf. Uh, there's thorns there that will get lost. All of the different leaves here all have the same function. Okay, and I've done my last sort of pumps. And now I go, huh. Now my dick's still out. But I'm just sort of like, hmm. Because I know no one can see my dick. Huh. Well, that's curious. This is not a pisser. A pisser doesn't pontificate. Huh. Oh, well. I guess I'll go now. Awkward part, awkward part, putting it back, putting it back. In the interest of total transparency, I should say that I have been arrested for this before. But I was walking like this and just spraying it in S's. It's coming. It's 
coming. And walk. No, I don't know that to be a fact. Well, then he should have been there on time. Yes? Well, how am I supposed to know that? I have no way of knowing that. And zip, it's back in the undies. A few drops in the undies, obviously, but we're done. So the moral of the story is you can become a piss expert. I did. There's one pretty serious downside, however. When you teach your brain that you can piss whenever you want, it can bite you in the ass when you're asleep. It's called sleep pissing. And what it is is urinary arrogance. So you'll not wake up in the middle of the night. You'll get up asleep and go, I had a piss, but I'm the king. You'll pee on your computer, your bed, your wife, your dog, your chair. I would piss in my chest of drawers, in my t-shirts and stuff. So that's no good. Solution, I know, adult diapers. So I got adult diapers and I would sleep with adult diapers. The problem with adult diapers is they have these four little pussy post-it note tabs and you just, still asleep, just go get out of here, rip it off. Again, pissing in the chest of drawers. So here is the solution to that problem. Duct tape. Get about 10 rounds of duct tape around you. Just keep going and going and going. And what happens is you, you get up. Remember I didn't say wake up. And you go, gotta get them off, gotta get them off, gotta get them off. What? What? Oh, where am I? Oh, I'm trying to remove my adult diapers, which I can't do unless I'm awake. Then you'll get over across the bed and go cut them off with scissors. So what did I learn from all this? I learned that I'm in control of my own destiny and you're in control of your own destiny. It's about being an adult, being a grown-ass man, and using your brain. <laughs>